Hello everyone, Sundarek here. So in today's video, I want to be showing you all the primal gems you could be earning in the patch 2.8. Now, of course, I will be only be calculating the primal gems from the start of patch 2.8, which should be around July the 13th, to the end of patch 2.8, which should be around August 24th. Now, of course, plus minus one day on both days, depending on which time zone you're in. So for uh, patch 2.8 is expected to last 42 days. That's the number I'll be using when calculate primal gems that are based on days. So with that said, let's get started. Before we do that, if you like the content, please like, comment, and subscribe. So let's get started. So there are 10 ways you can earn primal gems in total. Uh, of course, for players that have bought Welcome Moon, that's 11 ways. And for players that have bought both Welcome Moon and Battle Pass, that's 12 ways. And of course, there are a few other ways you can earn primal gems on top of this, like web events and stuff like that I did not cover. But for those, I don't have an accurate number on how many exact, how much primal gem we can get exactly. So I feel it's best to keep it at a lesser extent. So you should be, um, so you'll be more happy if you end up getting more than what this number is giving you. So the first one, of course, is character trial. 2.8 comes with three five-star rerun banners, and with each character, each five-star character, you have 20 primal gems for their character trial. So 60 primal gems in total. The second one is Hangout Quest. The only new Hangout Quest added to 2.8 is going to be Shignori Hanzu's Hangout Quest, which is 90 Primal Gems in total between all finishing all endings. I think every second ending you get 20 Primal Gems and plus the hidden achievements in some of the endings. The third one, of course, is Kazuha's character quest. For this one, I am not 100% sure, because in the past, it's a, if I'm remembering correctly, it's 60 primal gems per character quest, which is a legendary level. Uh, however, Kazuha's quest gives out a free 4-star sword, so they might be taking out away the 60 primal gems in exchange for the sword. But of course, it could still be nice and give the 60 primal gems on top of the sword. So for this one, I am not 100% sure, but according to the old rules, it should be 60 primal gems. The fourth one is the new map uh, exploration, which uh, most of the primal gems will be coming in terms of chests. For this one, I'll be not calculating the achievements because again, I don't have a solid idea on how many we can get in total in terms of all the new achievements in 2.8. So based on last year's Golden Apple Archipelago's expansion, we should be expecting about 800 primal gems in terms of opening chests. Now that should be a safe estimate, and I think it's going to be only be more if not. Uh, it's only going to be the same amount if not more in terms of this expand, this map expansion, because this map expansion is like an Golden Apple Archipelago rerun with a bit more uh, structure and things like that worked on top of it. Moving on to the fifth one, the fifth one is all the events in 2.8. There should be one major event, the one involving Kazuha, Fisho, Mona, uh, Shinyan, and I think the Traveler. And of course the four minor events which are less um, just you do a quest, you open up the event, you do the event for 5 days or 7 days and the event ends. So for the smaller events, it should be 420 primal gems each. For the bigger events, it should be about uh, 800 to 1000 primal gems. So for in total, this is basically the same number for almost all patches. It's 2260 primal gems in total between all events. Moving on to the sixth master, which is daily commission. 42 days in total, and each day should have 60 primal gems, bringing the total up to 2520 primal gems. The seventh one is Spiral Abyss. So July the 16th, August the 1st, and August the 16th are the three Spiral Abyss reset dates that are within the duration of 2.8. So we should be expected to get three Spiral Abyss clears, which should be up to a total of 1,800 Primal Gems if you can 36 star the Abyss consistently. If you cannot, just subtract away the amount you normally cannot get, and you should get a safe estimate that way. The 8th way is the Stardust Drop, however for August, uh, for 2.8 we only can get the August Stardust Drop, which is 5 uh, intertwined fate, which um, transfers to about 800 Primal Gems. Now of course there's 5 acquaintance fate, but I don't think that should be counted towards Primal Gems, since you cannot use that on the weight up character banner. For the ninth nice one, it's update compensation plus bug fix compensation. So from the update to from 2.7 to 2.8, the update should be about 5 hours long with 60 primal gems per hour, bringing the total up to 300 primal gems in terms of compensation. And of course, since 
1.1 basically miHoYo has been giving 300 com uh, primal gems for bug fix compensation and that should be also included for this patch so a total of 600 primal gems there now of course the final way uh, which is a bit more of a stretch but it's technically due in the duration of 2.8 the 3.0 livestream code which should be 300 primal gems near the end of 2.8 so if you're wishing for your Mia and you're just a full uh, few posts short that should be able to help you get the final push so in total, if you are a completely free to play player, if you max out everything, the primal gem should be around 9,290 9, primal gems, which is approximately 58 poles. If you are a welcome moon player, you should be getting 13,060 uh, and 70 primal gems in total, which should be about 82 poles. And of course, if you have both Walken and battle pass, you should be expecting 14,390 primal gems, which should be just shy of 90 poles, which is guaranteed a five star. So that's all I have for 2.8. In terms of Primal Gems, I think it's much bigger than 2.7 because of the new map expansion. And I believe the Primal Gem amount is going to rise even more with the introduction of 3.0 because 3.0 comes not only with an even bigger map expansion. And on top, 3.0 is the opening of a new entire chapter. So it should come with a lot of achievements and other things that we should be able to just uh, passively gaining Primal Gems. So that's all I have for this video. If you like the content, again, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day.